In each chapter, I will provide a set of challenges. These challenges will force you to apply what you have learned in the preceding chapter and make you really think about how to apply what you have learned. In this chapter, you learn the beginnings of PHP and how to embed it in HTML. You learn the print statement and about comments. What I want you to do is write two scripts. The first script will print a line of text to the browser. I want you to embed this text within a page of HTML and make each word a different color, font size, or somehow different from each other. With the second script, open up the page called solutionb.php in the Chapter 2 code folder. This is what would be considered very poorly written PHP code. I want you to format that code so first it is easy to read. Once you have done that, save the code to your server and run it in your browser. You should get an execution error. Now I want you to find out exactly what lines are causing the error by commenting out lines of code until the execution error goes away. You will then be able to narrow it down and figure out what lines are causing errors. Then see if you can figure out exactly what the errors on those lines are. Now pause this movie. When you come back, I will review possible solutions to the challenges. Here's a solution to the first challenge. Note that when I say it is a solution, it is one of several. The point being that if you solve the challenge, then you are right, no matter what your code looks like. There's clean code and not so clean code, however, so just be sure that your code is readable and clean. The challenge was to print a line of text to the browser, with each word being a different color, font size, or somehow different from each other, and to embed that within HTML. So in order to embed within HTML, we have to use the opening PHP tag and closing PHP tag to define the PHP within the HTML. So as you can see, for each word within the text, we've enclosed it within PHP and used a print statement to print it out. So the first word is bolded, the second word we've made red, the third word line is in italics, the fourth word blue, and the very last word is in header 1. Now notice here that in the beginning ones we have the opening and closing PHP tags and we're using a print statement. It's actually a shortcut that you can use which is the opening PHP tag and an equal sign. That is the exact equivalent to that opening PHP print. It's a shortcut. So if you have short bits of text that you want to print or short statements, you can use opening PHP tag and an equal sign. And that will print it out to the browser. So we'll save that to our server. Let me flip to our browser. And voila! Each bit of text is a different color, different size, or a different style of some sort or another. Now, the solution to the second challenge is a bit more arbitrary. First, we have to make the code more readable. In order to do that, there are a couple of things to recognize. The first is that we have HTML and PHP combined here. So the HTML should be readable as well as the PHP. The second is we really have poor PHP coding, multiple print statements without the need for them. So, the first thing that we will do is clean this up in a one consistent and readable document. I like to use indenting just to make it a lot more readable. Here we've got an extraneous print statement. Get rid of that. Make my table readable. Another extraneous print statement. Closing PHP tags. Opening PHP tags. Eventually, what we're going to end up with is file that looks like this. So as you can see, we've got these extraneous print statements. Now, the challenge is to figure out where the problems are. So if we open this up in our browser, you can see we've got an error. An unexpected bracket on line 24. So I could go to line 24 and say, oh, okay, so what have I got here? Well, let's go line by line. First of all, we've got our print statement. 
we're going to remove this extraneous one here. And again, move, remove an extraneous print statement here. So that print statement is closed. Now we've got a closing PHP tag. So now once we close the PHP, the interpreter is going to stop interpreting. But again, we're opening another PHP tag here. So with nothing in between, we can simply get rid of those. Now, because of my syntax highlighting, I know instantly that I have a problem here. But can you figure out what's going on? Very simply, we've closed our print statement, and then we've continued on with HTML. The interpreter hits this and says, oh, that's not a statement. It's not a variable definition. So I don't know what to do with it. So we get this error. What we need to do is include that within our print statement. So we remove our closing print format this nicely so you can see how it fits into the page. So, to fix the problem, go back to our browser. Oh, now we have another error, line 23. Now what we have is an opening PHP tag. Why is that an error? Well, that's an error because we haven't closed our PHP tag anywhere else. So, we can eliminate that error simply by removing it. Now you would have found these just by trial and error, hopefully by commenting out little bits of code here and there. Save the document, go back to the browser, refresh. We have another error on line 23, an unexpected colon. Well, let's just see. Line 23, comment that out, back to our browser. Yep, sure enough, no more errors. So go back to line 23 and see what possibly could be that error. We have a print statement. Go to the end of the line and there's our colon. Now what should we have there? Of course, should be a semicolon. We'll save it, go back to the browser and voila, no more errors. Now just to clean this up a little more, again, we've got another print statement that we don't need. So, we'll include that text right within our original print statement. This now closes our starting print statement with our closing PHP tag and this HTML, which is not going to generate an error because it's straight HTML and it's outside of our PHP interpreter tags. Save the document, and there we go. No more errors.